Hello and welcome to a new video from Mighty's Academy. Today, as you can see, we will focus on how to choose a thesis topic for masters. But, well, this is not only for masters, it is also, well, it is about how to choose, choose a thesis topic in general. So it is also valid and uh, has tips and advice for PhD students and also for bachelors. So this is the video to the related article that you can find on our blog where you can get all the in-depth information and details and where you can find the link to the article in our description of the video. So let me guide you through the article and let me show you what you will find there. So first of all and the most important we will discuss how do you find, how to approach the question of finding the right, the perfect thesis topic. This is not an easy task and well, this is a task that you need to craft in the first stage of your thesis writing journey. So, as you can see, the article starts with a general introduction and description where you also see what uh, is waiting for you in the article. So you will find key tips and advice that will help you to choose the perfect topic for your thesis and your research. And I also provide information and a lot of key tips of yeah, what is important. So what should you press attention? Where you uh, is it necessary to press attention, to pay attention? And what is crucial at the moment when you have the selection and you can choose between different, uh, yeah, different uh, subjects and research questions. And yeah, how do you decide which is fitting for you? So the first uh, yeah, large section uh, contains several key tips that help you choose the perfect, the fitting topic for your research. There, yeah, you can find some good points. For example, it is very important that you start by identifying your interests. It is also important that uh, you have the available resources for the research and yeah, that you, yeah, that the research is feasible after all. Um, this is a question of the scope and this is also a question of resources. And yeah, then you can see there's also the point of the dialogue with the supervisor. So your advisor or supervisor should always be the first person that you ask for advice. And yeah, then I also added the points that you absolutely need to consider the research objectives uh, that you will set also to frame your thesis and that your topic is realistic and feasible. So all of these points are explained here a little more in depth and detail. And then we continue with the question, so how do you find the perfect topic for your thesis. How do you choose it? And here you can find a couple of tips that will help you to craft your search and also to select an interesting and engaging topic. This is also important. So how do you do this? How do you craft this? Well, as you can see here, uh, I listed the most important points. So uh, it it's a very good idea to start with a brainstorming, for example, on potential topics and where you reflect on your particular strengths and also what uh, passionates yourself. So what are you really interested in? And yeah, this is something uh, yeah, that you should absolutely do in the first moment. So create yourself a mind map. Then uh, there's also the point that you need to conduct a little in-depth research at the moment when you figured some possible topics out and yeah that you ask 
for advice, but not only regarding your supervisor, but also uh, people from yeah from your personal circle, for example. Uh, for example, you can ask peers, and you can also ask friends. And well, I would ask uh, different persons for help. And then is yeah a section which is also very important, where we discuss. Uh, the benefits of choosing the own thesis topic. I know there are universities uh, which yeah, give you, which provide a selection for possible thesis topics and you need to choose one, but there are also a lot of advantages when you have the chance to choose your own topic and to select your own, uh, yeah, uh, thesis topic. So I know this is also, yeah, let's say more challenging in the first moment as if you already get something, uh, yeah, like on the silver plate, served on the silver plate. But in this section, you will get uh, the answer of why it is an advantage to choose the thesis topic by yourself. And well, then there's also a section where uh, yeah that helps you to address the right questions so if you are looking for the right and for the fitting thesis topic for your project then it is important to ask yourself questions so for example what is it uh, what is interesting for me where do you want uh, where do you where do i like to learn more where do i need uh, to get more knowledge or to get more insight knowledge and so on and also what is where i am uh, curious about so what is interesting this is something that helps you to figure it out you can also see that there are a couple uh, of other questions and considerations that will help you to choose the right question for you. So check this section out and I'm sure that you will find a lot of helpful uh, questions and yeah, tips. And then the article closes with a conclusion and also with an example. So here to give you a concrete example, I put how literature impacts our lives, exploring the power of written words. This is a possible title, a possible thesis topic. And here I provided uh, a little, yeah, a little description, a little analysis to show you how and why um, a topic, uh, yeah, can fit and what a topic should have to be broad enough but also specific enough and feasible as you can see in the last part there is a conclusion where you have a resume of the most important points that uh, were highlighted in this article so the point of choosing a topic choosing a thesis subject which you are passionate about and also the question of the feasibility and yeah also some additional advice so for example uh, the question of how to approach that you approach with a brainstorming with a mind map and how you get step by step how do you arrive to your thesis topic so uh, this is uh, yeah this is mainly the article and the content of the article and yeah please have a look at the blog and on the article itself read it in depth and yeah you will find the description and the link in uh, the description of the video and i also yeah would like to encourage you if you like the video and the article to subscribe to my Tears academy and uh, yeah we also 
opened our campus where you find everything that you need to write your thesis with success. So this link to our campus is also in the description. Yeah, uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video and to see you in the next time.